POV, you're mapping out your February lessons when it suddenly hits you. There is an extra day to plan. But don't worry, teacher friend. Our team is way ahead of you with some easy leap day ideas. Let's get started. Let's walk through a sample leap day schedule and transform your classroom in seven easy steps. Step one is morning work. Let's keep them occupied right when they walk in. I love using a placemat type morning work activity. This keeps the kids thinking, they're focused on our theme, and they're definitely having fun and being engaged right at their desks. Another option is to have them work on their handwriting while learning some leap day jokes. Step two, literacy ideas. I'm going to use leap day for my entire day theme. Let's see how I incorporate it into my reading block with some read alouds. Here are some suggestions. There's Leap Day, a Winnie the Pooh book, Leopold's Birthday, or the book Leap. We're also going to use some comprehension activities to go with these for our whole group lesson. For small groups, we're going to focus on this Leap Day reading passage. Now let's talk centers. I'm going to work on long E vowel teams because they go with the word leap. I'm going to have a crossword puzzle for one of my centers. Another center idea is to sort by all the long E vowel team groups. This could be done individually, in partners, or as a group. We love partner games in my classroom, so we're doing Connect Four with long E vowel teams. Each partner gets their own spinner and tries to get four in a row. A couple extra literacy ideas could be shades of meaning work or working on this synonyms center. You know after all the stations work, students are going to need some brain breaks. Here are some ideas. This partner game, finger facts, hop, think hopscotch with your fingers while practicing addition facts. This game is really fun and gets kids thinking. Or do regular hopscotch right in the classroom or search YouTube for leap day brain breaks. Step four, let's move into our math block. For whole group math, we're working on the number 29 and making it in as many ways as possible. They can do this individually, or you can have them do it as a class activity where they walk around the classroom having friends fill out their chart. Then we're playing some math games like the arrays frog pond. Students love this because they get to actually make the arrays with some cute little clip art graphics. And they will also draw the arrays right on their worksheet. This is a great game to play in partners. One partner can make the array while the other one draws it and then they can switch. Then it's time for stations. I love these skip counting puzzles, some color by number, jumping animals where they'll search for task cards around the room, and a telling time center. Here's some hands-on math. We're going to start with leapfrog line plot. We're going to use plastic or origami frogs and have them jump 10 times and measure it, making a line plot of the measurements. We're also using this new frog toothy mat to answer questions about telling time. They can check their answer on the back. And if they're right, they get to draw a tooth, play until all the cards are gone, and the winner is the player with the most teeth. Step five is incorporating Leap Day into art, science, and social studies. I'm going to kick off with a slide presentation on why we have Leap Day while students follow along and answer these questions. Students love a reptile study, so we're gonna study leaping lizards while annotating the passage as we go. Moving on to art, we're going to make an agamograph. So we're going to color two pictures, number the back of the strips, and then cut them. We're going to glue the strips on a large piece of paper, alternating the images, and then cut off the extra paper and accordion fold. I love how these turn out. Another art idea is to create a leap day time capsule to be put away till the next leap day. Step six, let's write about leap day. We're going to use one or all of these simple writing prompts. I think I would let my kids choose which one they want to do, or we can do this fun chance one where they spin their prompt. Our last section is bonus ideas, and this is if you want to make this into a classroom transformation. Transformations or special classroom days can get a little hyperactive, so I like to incorporate themed behavior sheets we're trying to earn eight frogs for some extra recess today. Our leap day plans include decoration and snack ideas. Go as big or as small as you want with this day. I'm going to be wrapping up my leap day celebration by making these crowns they can wear home, or we could even make them in the morning and wear them all school day. 
we're also going to add a brag tag to our collection. I hope you have an amazing Leap Day. And because you're a VIP viewer, we are offering a $1 week-long access to our digital and printable library, searchable by grade level, category, resource type, or even Common Core. Your VIP link is in the description. Check out these two videos and be sure to hit subscribe to never miss any teaching tips and tricks.